and pathways projected down a slope, a smooth slope, length 2D. So we got length there, the whole thing's 2D. Length uh, acceleration is 4 meters per second squared. Initial velocity at the top is U meters per second. At the instant 3 seconds, it's moved halfway down the slope. So that takes 3 seconds. Uh, and it reaches it 5 seconds. So this bit here is 2 seconds for the second D bit. That's the D bit there. That's pretty much it. So first part. Find, form two simultaneous equations in U and D indicate. So I've got constant acceleration. It's 4. So I can use Stuva. And I'm going to use the first bit, part of the journey, D, distance. Time was 3 seconds. U is U. V, uh, don't know about. And acceleration is 4. And so I can set things up. So that's formula without V. So that will be S equals UT plus a half AT squared. So I'll say that D equals U times 3. So that will be 3U plus a half of a is 2 times by t squared that's 9 and so d equals 3u plus 18 that's the first part and the second part of the journey i got still got constant acceleration and that constant acceleration is still 4 total distance now it's gone it's gone 2d time has taken 5 seconds 3 and a 2 Initial velocity is still u, v I still don't care about. So it's still exactly the same formula. I'm going to write it down because otherwise I can make a mistake. I actually know what I'm like. So s is 2d equals u, so u times 5, so that will be 5u, plus half of a is still half force 2, times by 5 squared is 25, and that gives me 2d equals 5u plus 50. So if I call this equation 1 and this equation 2, if I do equation 1 times that by 2, that gives me 2d equals 3u. No, it won't. So I'm times it by 2. 2d will equal 6u plus 2 18s are 36. And I've got 2d's equal this. Therefore, I get 6u plus 36 equals 5u plus 50 because that's 2d and that's also 2d and that says that u equals 14 meters per second so i found the speed of projection and the length of the plane i just substituted into one so sub into equation one and that says that d equals 3 times 14 plus 18 which equals um, 60 and therefore length of plane 2d is 120 and the units are in meters part two find the inclination of the plane to the horizontal so let's draw a picture of this if i've got an inclination that's going to be my theta so fairly obviously i've got to have to use something about forces on here and the acceleration is 4. Put the forces on here. That's the weight. It comes straight down mg. That's the normal contact force r. And it's a smooth plane, so therefore it's no friction. So that's it, really. So I'm going to resolve down the slope. And that will be resultant force equals mass times acceleration. Resultant force, the only force I've got is the, the weight. So it's that pink bit there. So that will be mg sine theta, that's the only force there, equals the mass, which is m times acceleration, which is 4. m's cancel out, so sine theta equals 4 over 9.8, and so that will be theta sine to minus 1 of that, which is 24.0895 degrees, or theta equals 24.1 degrees, to three significant figures. And then part three, now it says the contact force exerted by P on the plane has six newtons, and that means that that equals six newtons, uh, and there's no uh, friction, so that is the normal contact force. It's the only contact force. 
So then I'm now going to resolve in that direction on perpendicular to the plane, and I'm going to say the force is coming down into it must equal the force outwards. And that will say that mg, and that'll be cos theta, that's this component there, mg cos theta, because that's theta, must equal 6. And therefore, um, m will equal 6 over 9.8 times by cos of 24.089, etc. That'll be m equals 0 0.67062 kilograms. So m equals 0 0.671 kilograms to three significant figures. And that's question five done.